Hey folks, Troy Hutchabees. Uh, give a little shout out to uh, the individuals that have emailed recently. Uh, there's been quite a few. Um, unsure um, what Vulcanite H is, right? What it's used for. That's no problem. You know, I've been at it for 22 years, so a lot of people are not familiar with the uh, market of uh, composite materials. Um, you're looking at the video in the background, so this is a direct relationship to it. Okay, so here we go. Um, composite fibers, right? Obviously, they're not metals or alloys. They're um, uh, cottons, uh, fiberglass um, that are put together with a, uh, a, a polymer, a, a resin, a uh, carbon fiber. Um, it's a 75 billion, billion dollar business a year worldwide. Hundreds of companies, but there is one key. There's no king of the hill. You know, this is from the big boys. This is from the industry itself. There's no big boy. Nobody has a lead on anybody. That's the lead. That's it. It's going to be 22 years for that. Vulcanite H. That's your lead. Because it has what no other material in the world has. Not strength. That's a given. That it's 50, 60, 70 percent lighter than steel. Okay? That it's fireproof and acid proof and weather resistant and cold and uh, heat tolerant and, and, and all this other beautiful stuff. That's a given if you want to get into the market. It has a reflex bend memory ratio of 98%. That's unheard of. That's not possible. And you just saw me do it. That's what it is. So you can bend it completely. 60%, 70%, stronger than steel. Bend it completely. It'll come back to its full shape at 98%. Within 10 minutes, you can turn it around, use it again on the full bend, beat steel straight up, and lose 2 to 5% of its strength. That's it. No tears, no cracks, no breaks, no splits. There's no other composite fiber in the world, material, that can boast that. They all crack, split. Okay? So what they're used for? $75 billion. You say, oh my goodness. You know, where's this market? Everything. Aerospace. Planes. Space, rovers, oh, cars, buildings, you know, it's, 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 it's tsunami comes through, right? That's what I want it for. Tsunami comes through, wipes out 200,000 people, and then there's 3 million refugees that are living in right, cardboard huts. You could put a house together, no exaggeration, using Vulcanite H and 10 layers of polyester material. That's it. You know, you're talking 50 cents a square yard when you buy it in bulk. So I can build the house for 700 bucks. Fact. That's stronger than steel. Stronger than brick. Simple as that. You ship it over, boom. Everybody's got a place. They're not living in freaking tents. Okay? Another example. So people understand it. Hockey sticks. Jesus, people. You hear Don Cherry going out of his mind, and rightfully so. $400. Composite sticks. Oh my goodness, oh my god, and they just shatter all over the bloody place at four hundred dollars. Vulcanite H. I can make a stick that will never break, never shatter, never crack for fifty bucks. What are you kidding me? And that's just as light. Another example for people into Formula One racing. The uh, uh, the gear, the, the 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 back axle is you can see go on YouTube and you can see the actual demonstration. Quite impressive. And carbon fiber is quite impressive. That back axle that they use, it's usually steel. Oh, I don't know, a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks. Weighs a shitload. And they're all about weight. So you see the test of the same axle made out of carbon fiber. And it's three and a half times stronger than steel, straight up. Straight up. The problem is, and much lighter, there's no doubt about it, 70, 75% lighter. It costs five thousand bucks. You make that out of carbon, or you make that out of uh, Vulcanite H, six hundred dollars. As light and stronger, no cracks, tears, $600 Canadian. That's the difference. The market's endless, people. Everything. Aerospace, buildings, cars, you name it. Military. Make a tank 20 tons lighter using Vulcanite H. Done. There you go.